Hi there, Russ here, and in this series of short videos, I just want to show you an advanced Microsoft Word Save As feature that I use regularly for my own work and with my client work. Now we know Microsoft Word has like an auto save feature, yeah? But um, I don't know about you, but I'd rather not rely on it because you can guarantee that when you do need it, then it's not going to work. I prefer to do mine manually and to then um, just kind of keep control of um, what I'm actually doing with my documents. And it also gives me like a hierarchy. And you know, if you were going to, like you finished one um, part of your document, like a chapter of your document, and you want to save a new file name, then you click on file, then you click on save as, and then you enter the new file name and all this. Well, the method that I actually use is I use the uh, what you know what we call a date timestamp. Now, if I go to archives here, then um, the current document I've actually got open is my is my book of proof, my reviews and um, testimonials, and that for, from my uh, work, from my writing and from my word work. Um, and here's how it looks in the in the folder that I'm actually saving it. So I've got the the actual title followed by an underscore, and then I've got the year, the month, and the day and then another underscore, and then I've actually got the time. And as you can see here, I've been saving it every minute for the last few minutes. So it's now 12.44 according to my system clock. So all I do now is click on save new file name, and there you go, and we've now got another one. And the beauty of this is you can run it as often as you like. You can um, save every minute if you want. And then at the end of the day, you can just go through and delete all the iterations and things like that. And as you can see here with one uh, project that I've been working on, this started on like the 1st of March, and I had two saves on that day, and then I had, what's that, six saves on the next day, and then I had three days on the next day like that. And this is just a simple way of actually saving your documents with a new name every time. And now when this hits 12.55, sorry, 12.45 I should say, then I'm just going to hit the save button again. And then as you can see, it's going to be very, very useful. So then I do save new file name, and then you can see as the file saves, and then I come back here, and then it will save into this particular folder. Now if I wanted to save it in a different folder, then all I do is do file save as, and then let me, if I come just up to doc dump like so, and then I save that there, and then that's going to be sitting in, in the folder higher. So you've got a lot of a lot of scope and flexibility with this. Book approved 210305 and 1245. And there you go. And that's basically how it works. And this is a far more effective way than doing file and doing save as. And then you have to enter in the information here. Just click a button, okay? And that's what I'm going to show you in this um, set of videos. In the next video, we'll have a look at the actual code itself.